this is the setup of simple distillation. We begin looking at the setup from here in the distillating flask where we put the mixture. It is above the Bunsen burner where the heat of the Bunsen burner is used to boil or to enable the solvent to reach its boiling point. We need to make sure we know the position of the bulb of the thermometer. The bulb of the thermometer is correctly placed at the side arm of the condenser. So this is the correct position where it will record the boiling point of the solvent. So now we observe that the boiling point is at 100. So the solvent, the water has reached its boiling point. Connected to the dissipating flask is this piece of apparatus called the condenser. The structure of the condenser is basically made up of a small tube inside another big tube. So what we need to do is to now send some water from the tap through this rubber tubing into the condenser. The cold water will envelop the hot vapor that is now that will enter through the inner tube. So now we will see the cold tap water entering the condenser. It's coming in. So it's then moving out. And then it will exit here. So water in from the receiving flask. Cold, fresh tap water enter in from the receiving flask. The cold water will continuously be fed into the condenser and it will envelop the hot the tube inside which will be filled with the hot vapor. So this is the tube where water will get out of and then we let it go into the sink. So in this tube, fresh tap water is continuously fed in to cool the hot vapor. That is why this apparatus is called a condenser. It is the position where the condensation of the hot vapor will take place. So in summary, distillation is made up of two processes, boiling at first and then later condensation. So after these processes, we will collect the liquid here, you see dripping. So this, upon distillation, this liquid is called the distillate.